Hello everyone and welcome back to Autonauts. This is Otaku Shobo. Today is our 14th episode. It's already been two whole weeks of playing Autonauts. Oh joy, oh bliss, and we are still at T2 uh, stuffs. We're still at T2 stuffs. Oh boy. Let's, uh, let's start working our way towards the T3 stuffs today. What did we do last time? Last time we got our pumpkins set up all the way through Irby Pumpkins. I guess today the first thing that I should do is take the, uh, take a robot to pick up Irby Pumpkins to feed the colonists. So that's what we'll be starting. Uh, don't forget that if you, uh, have been enjoying the series thus far to, uh, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can help make this series appear higher up in YouTube search results. And you can do all of the social stuff through my links below in the description, including following on Twitter, following on Twitch, visiting my website, uh, as well as potentially becoming a patron on Patreon if you really enjoy the content, and joining my Discord server to help uh, with suggestions and just take part in the growing community that I have on uh, the Discord. So all of that is below the video and let us begin today. So yes, last time we got pumpkins going. I had a bit of a, uh, a chat on the actual mechanics here. I've, because I'm recording this directly after the last video, I still am uncertain if this will uh, break again, but I guess we'll find out, uh, if, if this pot breaks again, uh, from last time, if this breaks again by having both bots attempting to feed it berries at the exact same moment in time, uh, then I'll know that if I actually want to make full use of a pot, a crude mixing pot, I need to separate the, uh, bots sending in berries and sending in weeds. That's just something that'll have to happen, and then I'll have to have a separate pot to actually ferry from the pot to the storage. Just, uh, I, it's, it'll have to be what I, ha what I do if either of these pots breaks, uh, on the robots, so. Anywho's, oh, uh, let us grab you. Uh, you are going to be feeder Herby Pumpkins. Feeder of the Herby Pumpkins. You're going to go over to here. Uh, and then you are going to go over to here. To uh, not take from. You are going to feed. You're going to add to uh, the hungry colonists in the area. In excuse me, in this beautiful area. And that's what you're going to do until your hands are full and until your hands have become empty. Until your hands are empty, always do your emptying of the hands first. You're going to stop, because I'm going to go and find my storage, data storage. Uh, control left click on feeder HP, you can now go. You are going to come tither, you are going to be another feeder HP. Come a tither! Uh, you are going to do the thing. And you are going to go. Alright, two of them should be fine. Especially when we have others feeding them the uh, spiced berries. So, this is excellent. Ah, that charger! That stupid charger! What happened to your zones your zones like got reset or something i don't know here go there go 
there. Go. Go. There. Excuse me. You, Max, and there. Do the thing. Do the thing for me, please. So, fixing pegs. I was going to try and find what makes those. What makes those? I don't know. Obviously, it isn't the good workbench. So, I guess it's the standard workbenches? Crudes? Is it the crudes? Crudes make crude wheels? Oh, hey, I could make my scooter. Yeah, let's make my scooter. That sounds like a wonderful plan. Yeah, let's do that. Two planks per one of those. Um, I will automate these. Uh, here, take that. Grab a bot with shoes. You're going to be crude wheels. Uh, you're going to go and pick up planks. Remember that they've got shoes. Uh, and go place the thing all the way down here. Doink, doink. Then pick it up and toss it. Uh, times two until empty and forever. That's very simple. Uh, I will place you down. So, the structural workbench requires fixing pegs. What in the world makes the fixing pegs? Maybe it's the chopping blocks. Maybe it's the, cho the chopping blocks. I can only see it as being the chopping box at this point. We've sort of run out of options. Um, but I suppose what I could have done this entire time is, uh, you know, gone into this, looked for the fixing pegs and seeing that it is crude axe plus pole. So I can only imagine that that would be, yeah, that has to be available through the uh, chopping blocks. That must be available through the chopping blocks. So I will grab the axe and go and make this chopping block. Because I don't have one, at, uh, I don't have a blueprint shover of axes. Let's see. You there, I guess. Go here. Have a look at these recipes and see that. Oh, hey, fixing pegs. Now, what is the storage bin for those? Those are standard boxes. Crates. Glorious crates. All right. Let's see here, you, you're going to be fixing pegs. You're going to grab a pole, just one pole at a time. You're going to make the peg. Two 
Ooh, pegs. Interesting. Uh, trust me. Just trust me on this. Just trust me on this. Uh, and then deposit uh, twice. Uh, until hands empty. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So, this is a way to avoid the whole move thing. This is the this is a way to avoid the move problem here. This is actually faster. However, it isn't like it, it's tied to coordinates, so I can't move this ever without then having to change this move command. Um, but it works a lot better than Having the find nearest peg move in space, move to space, and pick up peg. No, just move to the spot, and then pick up the things. Now, of course, what I could also do is, say, take two poles until hands empty, do the thing, and then take four. Uh, I said take four. Uh, and then empty it out, and then do that forever. So, we're going to move to the pole storage. We're going to take two poles. We're going to move to the chopping block. We're going to add the poles one at a time to the chopping block that'll end up giving us four pegs we're going to move to the spot with the pegs and we're going to find the peg and pick it up four times move to the storage and then add to the storage that sounds like a plan go and we now have simple stone Shaping, we've got access to the chisel as well as the masonry workbench. Our next tech will be what? What shall it be? What it be? Uh, I guess potentially it can be clay. Pick up that unit of clay and deliver it over here. We can get going on uh, on clay production. That's very similar to uh, stone, I think. Uh, you just pickaxe it and have someone shoving the uh, stone into a box. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put some boxes near the clay. Let's find a bot with thingies. Uh, you're going to be clay miner. Very, very tempted to say clay fighter. Uh, looks like the uh, new thingy is made in a good workbench. The new tool uh, that we got access to is in the good workbench. Uh, you need a pickaxe. I thought. Or not. Um. Or is it a shovel? It might be a shovel. Uh, here. Let's, um. Let's pull this clay miner down and, uh, stop. And let's check. Search clay. Clay is a spade in a clay deposit. Okay. 
I need additional spades. Uh, partially because the dude I don't think is fast enough on the spades. Are you still working? You are still working. Are you still working? You are still working. Uh, so I just need another doing crude spades. Uh, congratulations, you are going to do crude spades. You can do this. Q. That. Right. That's the problem with the uh, crude spade dude. Um, I think I've got... Yeah, I've got another thingy here, so I'll just go over, say, make spades, find this guy, say, hey, do that, do that. Uh, until hands empty, then go pick up the spade and deposit it into the thing. Do that forever for me, please. Uh, you're good. Yeah, go. Do the, do the things. Do the glorious and wonderful and beautiful things. Do I still have... No, I don't. I'm out of coffee. Oh no, what is this nonsense? Uh, so yes, this will make the chisel for us. Crude blade, pole, and mallet uh, to make the chisel. Crude blade, pole, and mallet. Uh, I've sort of got like a big work bench area over here. You know what? I'll just assign it to this. Sure, why not? Uh, that should give me a uh, excess of... Uh, crude uh, spades. Crude spades, excess. Blade, pole, mallet. Um, hmm. Interesting. Alright. Where's my clay fighter? Excuse me, clay miner. You're gonna go over here, you're gonna pick up a spade. Hopefully I get there before all the spades are taken away. Uh, then you're gonna come over here and you are going to mine the clay. Mine the clay. However long this takes. A while. Okay, that is... That is some time. Uh, do that forever, but do this until your hands are empty. Take the thing and... Go. Uh, and then... Clay storage. Record. Uh, you're just going to pick it up and throw it in, and you're going to do that forever uh, until your hands are full. But if you can't find any more, please leave, and then until your hands are empty, do the thing. Go ahead and do that. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that works. That works just fine. So if there's not enough to fill the hands, do that, and that'll just cycle forever until there's another one to pick up. Cool, so now we have clay. We have clay. Glorious clay. It exists. Oh my gosh. The clay exists. 
We also got like this sandy track as well that we could use as roadways. <laughs> Glorious roadways. Um, pumpkins look great, I guess, but we are now out of raw pumpkin. Uh, we've sort of converted all of the raw pumpkin into herby pumpkin. Yeah. They've got all of this, these seeds. What is our, what is our bottleneck? Let's have a look. Uh, it appears as if we don't have enough tilling. <laughs> like, really? Really? Or at least there's so many bots that we don't have enough chargers to keep them charged all the time. I think that might be the uh, underlying issue here. Not enough charging for the robots. Uh, but we shouldn't have to worry because we've also got spiced berries uh, that we can use to feed these uh, if we run out of herby pumpkins, which we shouldn't. Things, things will be, like, in an equilibrium down here. Uh, and we have more than enough food to feed all of our dudes, so that is perfectly fine. I am happy. Uh, just the way things are. Next, uh, we need a blueprint fixing pegs. BP fixing pegs. Your job is you are going to grab fixing pegs from the fixing peg storage. Uh, until your hands are full. Or until there's no more in the storage and you are going to go out and uh, find the nearest blueprint in the area. And uh, like until your hands are empty, do this. Forever! Forth ever! Yes, forever. So there's my fixing pegs. We can now make structural workbenches. Glorious, glorious structural workbenches. Where am I going to put the structural workbench? Benches, I should say, plural, pluralizes. I suppose I should have an area of these good workbenches. Excuse me, but you're going to move tither along with like the flooring that you need. You only need the flooring like directly underneath the actual set of four tiles. So you only actually need four tiles for this. Uh, I actually want to duplicate. Uh, and we're going to uh, build another. Take that. Build one there as well. Because we can! Uh, you aren't being charged for some reason. Please void the turf for me, please. Please? Please void turf? So. You. Buddy. You can build square frames, panels, and cranks. Well then, uh, we're going to start with square frames and then work on panels and cranks uh, for our other two things. Now, I'm going to go down here. Next. Uh, I want slash need one of these. Three poles. Three beautiful poles.
and one plank. Oh. Probably should have grabbed the plank first, save myself the shrimp. Grab the plank, throw it in the backpack. But, uh, yeah, so this can only be used by us, this crude scooter, uh, and it increases our speed. So us as the player increases our player speed. See, we are we are moving. We are moving fast. Whee! And it has a neat little wood squeak. It has a wood squeak on it. Yay! Please don't like go away ever. Uh, so there's that, and then. I guess we can actually make our backpack now. Two poles and five planks. Uh, no, grab a plank. Grab a plank, store it, and then grab the poles. Uh, that way we only have to take two trips. I can grab five, four planks, fill up our inventory of planks. Now what this upgrade is going to allow uh, is it will increase our backpack slot by one. And now we will have two other upgrade slots here. I'm uncertain if I want to fill them up with other backpacks. I don't know if I even can fill them up with other backpacks. Chances are yes. All right. We're speedy. And we have an extra backpack slot. Yay. Huzzah. All that good stuff. What are we going to do next? Um. Um. We're going to fill a box full of these. Square frames. Yes, square frames. Goes into boxes. Cranks go into boxes. And panels go into boxes. Now square frames will be used, of course, in uh, these guys. Bot storage, uh, as well as in... Uh, the masonry bench, which will need rough stone blocks. That's why we need the crude chisel and mallet. Ch crude chisel and mallet. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Sense. Uh, I need to build the crank first before I can actually make the wood shaping bench. Uh, that will also need flooring uh, associated, with, associated with it, as well as the masonry bench. Um, and then from there... Uh, we'll be able to actually upgrade our good. Uh, we'll be able to actually upgrade these, I think. Our, ba our basic bot benches. Yeah, with panels and square frames. So, starting with... Oh, hello. I, uh... Apparently, I need even more boxes. Let's queue up even more boxes. That sounds like a wonderful, ideal plan. Uh, and then these exist. Let's get all this flooring as well. And be like, hey, let's... Oh, right, it wants... <sighs> this is this is the uh, issue, is that you can't... You can't blueprint additional flooring. You have to like... Huh? What? What? Alright, that's weird. That's a bug! That would be bug. That would be bug. Yes, that would absolutely be bug. Uh, so structural and structural. Just do that. They are now on flooring. They are officially on flooring. You. Make those. You make those. You make those. This is going to take robots... 
lots of robots. Starting with you. Find someone with shoes. Alright, you are not assigned. Uh, so you are going to be square frames. I need four pegs and four poles. Oh joy. Oh bliss. Alright. We're going to do this this way. Until the hands are full. Exactly. You're going to come down here and you're going to place these pegs. So, that was another bug, uh, apparently. <laughs> that was another bug, apparently, that I just experienced. I had an empty item in my hand that it thought was a peg. Yep, an empty item that it thought was a peg. Uh, you are going to do that until your hands are empty, and then you are going to do that forever. Yes, we are going to be separating jobs on this particular set of things. Uh, we're going to start doing this as a matter of best practice going forward. Uh, so this is struck... Uh, this is square frames planks. Uh, poles, excuse me. Uh, this guy's square frames uh, plank... Uh, fixing rods you get to go over and grab planks poles uh, until your hands are full and then go down here and until your hands are empty you're going to do all of that And then someone else, you are going to do square frames storage. Your job, if you choose to accept it, is to go down here. This specific spot. Yes, this specific spot. Find the square frame and pick it up until your hands are full. And then go over and deposit until your hands are empty. Uh, but if you can't find any more, just go and deposit anyway. And you will do that forever. We now have the ability to make clay pots. Excellent. Excellent! That is a necessary ingredient for our next level of uh, cooking. Official planning science, basic laboratory, research station built, research completed. Excellent! New stuff! A billboard! Okay, I'm going to assume the billboard has a greater area of effect around it than a sign. I'm going to assume that it is a sign, but better. It is going to go back and forth, back and forth. Excellent. Sure. Sure, you can move back and forth, back and forth. I don't care. Oh, we're so much faster now. Uh, I don't have cereal, I don't have cotton, I have logs, I have planks, I don't have cut grass, uh, I have sticks. Uh, so I need to pick up fire before I can pick up crude cooking, so I will do that. Grab a 
closest stick. Get that done. This will be a very quick, beautiful thing. Alright, so what did this do? Gave me access to billboards made out of logs and planks. Uh, so that'll be billboards. Sure, why not? And how long have we been going for? About that time. It is that time, folks. So, what did we get done today? Uh, we've got clay mining going. We've got... Uh, some glorious uh, structural, like, square frames going. Soon we'll have panels and cranks going, uh, which will also be very, very, very glorious and wonderful. We've set up uh, additional stuff. We've set up crude wheels as well. Uh, so, yeah, progress. Progress has been made. We are starting up our structural workbench uh, production lines. Uh, we're doing some things better than we were before. We haven't broken there, and we haven't broken there quite yet, so... I don't know if that was just a fluke that I had uh, yesterday, but... Yeah, it seems... Okay, as the kitty is, like... Meowing at me for some reason. Um, yeah, so with that, uh, thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Show It. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help make this series appear higher up in YouTube search results. Uh, you can do all the social stuff below this video in the description. Uh, follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. Visit my website at otakushowboat.com. If you have enjoyed this content, you can become a patron on Patreon at patreon.com slash otakushowboat, as well as join my Discord server to help uh, grow uh, the community there. And I hope to see you all on the next one.